Kia ora. Colin Bjork here with a quick Southern Hemisphere summer update about the Pod Uni podcast. First, the New Zealand Podcast Awards were just announced this week, and whether you're a Kiwi listener or an international listener, I encourage you to go to nzpodcastawards.com and check out the award winners. There are tons of categories of awards, first, second, and third place prizes awarded in each category, and it's a really terrific way of acknowledging the work of podcasters in this country. Like any award system, it's not a perfect one, but it's one that really is beginning to amplify on a global scale the work of the outstanding podcasters here in Aotearoa. So go have a look. The also exciting thing about it is that uh, one of the podcasters, Claire Kinkinen's Our Changing World podcast, won an award this year, and some of the upcoming interviews that I've done with podcasters were also awarded at this year's podcast awards. So you'll be in good company as a listener of this podcast if you go check out the awards. The next thing to share with you is that I received some small bit of funding to support a student producer of the summer episodes this year, which I'm quite excited about. So, Tama Lennox will be producing the next three episodes of Pod Uni, and I gotta say, I've given him a bit of a challenge because the three interviews that I conducted in the past two months were all conducted in totally different locations with totally different microphone setups. And, yeah. I didn't make it easy on him, but I know that he will do an outstanding job, and I, you will enjoy uh, listening to his work in these upcoming episodes and his original music as well. Lastly, I want to talk to you about how I select interviewees. And the background for this depends on how we define what podcasting is. It won't surprise you to know that academics disagree about what podcasting is. Even podcasters disagree about what podcasting is. Sure, Pod Uni is a podcast, but what about a streaming only show on Spotify? What about a YouTube channel? Is that a podcast? How about a Radio New Zealand show that also gets released as a podcast? What about an audiobook? Is that a podcast? Does it have to have an RSS feed to count as a podcast? Smart people disagree about these things. But I'm persuaded by research in our field that says podcasting is not just about the distribution technologies. It's not the technology that makes a podcast. It's actually the cultural practices that make podcasting podcasting. So this is the cultural practices that producers engage in, like interviewing and storytelling and sound design and the ways they go about those things. It's also the cultural practices that you, listeners, engage in, like listening in the car or while you're walking to work or doing the dishes, how you pause and rewind and play and start and stop your podcasts, and how those uh, digital technologies feed you certain podcasts and not others, and the information that they give you or don't give you about those podcasts. All of those things are the kind of cultural setting that makes podcasting podcasting. And the interesting thing about this is that those cultural practices can shift over time, meaning that 10 years ago, before Serial Season 1 became a global phenomenon and before Apple made podcasts a separate menu item in iTunes, what made podcasting podcasting was quite different then than it is now. And similarly, 10 years from now, podcasting is going to be very different because those cultural practices will shift. So... How does this impact my selection of interviewees? Well, if I only interviewed podcasters, that would be a narrow way of understanding podcasting. Instead, what I want to do is I want to look at all the cultural practices that come together to make podcasting podcasting and interview experts in those specific cultural practices because I believe we have much to learn from podcasters and from non-podcasters about the practices that come together to create podcasting. So, for example, storytelling or interviewing techniques, or media production, or running a media company. All of these things are really important uh, for informing how we podcasters and podcast enthusiasts think about what podcasting is and how we can do podcasting better. So, Without further ado, I'd like to tell you about the three upcoming interviews to whet your appetite for this summer season produced by Tom Lennox. First, I interviewed my colleague Fiti Hereaka, whose novel Kurangai Tuku won the, a prestigious 
prestigious Acorn Prize here in Aotearoa this year. She is a playwright, a novelist, and an all-around rock star storyteller. I also interviewed the amazing Pop Sock Media podcast producers, Kirsten Johnstone and Melody Thomas. Uh, their podcast, The Lake, recently won Best Factual Podcast at the New Zealand Podcast Awards, as well as being um, nominated and meddling second or third place in a variety of other categories. It is an outstanding podcast. And I also spoke with Luce Blackiston of the Shit You Should Care About team. Uh, they are a, a three-person all-star team of Kiwi women who run the Shit You Should Care About media platform, which has a very famous Instagram, but also the Culture Vulture podcast, which was nominated uh, for the Listener Choice Award at the New Zealand Podcast Awards. And they have lots to tell us about running a global media company that operates across a variety of platforms. So those are the three interviews you can look forward to later this summer. And after that, right before the semester starts here in Aotearoa, at the end of February, I plan to release some student podcast work because the students here at Massey have been doing terrific work over the past two years and their work deserves a public audience. So you can look forward right before the semester begins to hearing from the students themselves. Until then, Enjoy your summer and stay tuned. Kakite. <laughs>